We're in a unique time right now. Business as usual has stopped and you probably have a bit more time on your hands. You may be like many and making massive to-do lists and setting big goals for yourself and hustling like crazy. Or you may be in a whirlwind of emotions and feeling like crap and generally taking this hard. And for many, you're probably hopping back and forth between these two, right there with you guys. But let's take this time, this unique opportunity of quiet and stillness in our businesses to reorient ourselves, our goals, and our businesses. Hey guys, Savannah Bell here with My Massage World, and you probably had big plans when the new year rolled around not so long ago, right? Lots of goals and to-dos for your business. There's this first of the year mindset where we're all doe-eyed and positive and we're going to kick ourselves into high gear and accomplish all the things. And oftentimes the end of the year sneaks up on us and somehow half of those things are long gone to the wayside. Um, but this year we got an early dose of what the heck when a pandemic decided to roll around. So now we're all in this like weird state of what ifs and what to do and making big plans, right? And well, yes, goal setting is obviously important. It's also not the only thing you need to focus on when it comes to goals and things like that right now. When you're goal setting and working to attain those goals all the time, sometimes you lose sight of the big picture and even yourself in the process. So stop with all the goal setting and making plans for what you're going to do once this passes and pursuing this and that venture right now. Not, not that those things are bad things, but by any means, but just take a minute to do something first, or actually two things. First, reorient yourself and then prioritize. So reorienting is about taking a step back and seeing if you're really where you want to be, not in the sense of an end goal, like you've achieved your pinnacle of success sort of thing, but rather, are you content with how things are going right now, or at least, you know, when things are normal, normal for your business? If so, that probably means you're pretty much on track to reach whatever goals you have set in the grand scheme of things. If not, you'll want to get back to some basics and work out from there. So ask yourself these questions. What is the purpose of this business? Is the business serving me and my life goals? Am I serving the business as best I can? In what ways can I change to better the business? And in what ways can the business change to better suit me? Remember, your business goals and your life goals have to be in sync or you're going to quickly resent aspects of your business and or aspects of your life. Once you feel like you've reoriented yourself and gotten back to the basics of what your business is there for, now it's time to prioritize. So start setting some goals. But before you put together big plans, put some serious thought behind what takes priority and how this all plays out in your plans for the future. No more scatterbrained, shiny object syndrome driven goals and objectives. It's about serious end goal, big picture steps and ensuring the most important aspects are taken care of. They take priority always. So instead of using this time to hectically go through the motions and clamber around trying to make this and that work, get back to the basics and start deciding on what's really important in your business. Not only is this going to take some stress off of you, but it's going to help you when the dust settles about how exactly you want to move forward. Thank you so much for watching today. Learn more about growing your massage practice over at mymassageworld.com. And be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and stay tuned for more videos. There's a new one every week.